Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and uh, Libra Rising. A weekly tarot reading, May 13th to May 19th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards, and we can go straight away to the spread. Alright, so uh, the first card which represents the topic of your Libra's week, that is going to be the Nine of Swords, <clears throat> followed by the second card which is the challenge for you guys throughout the week, that is going to be the Ace of Swords, then the third card which is uh, marking the what helps you throughout the week, that is going to be the Page of Pentacles, or the positive throughout the week, and then the last one that is going to be the Guidance here, uh, we do have the Lover's card. So once again, um, we have the, the Nine of Swords, followed by the Ace of Swords, then the third card for you Libras that is going to be the Page of Pentacles, and then the last one that we do have that is going to be the uh, Lover's card. <clears throat> so it seems that uh, this week you are going to confront uh, things. Confront in a sense that... Uh, the very least you will demand answers either from your husband from your boss you know or from your co-workers from your family it seems that you will want to get into the bottom of it whatever that is whatever is making you um either apprehensive or anxious all right whatever is making you anxious that could be uh the very well for example that you are um texting with someone they don't text you anymore so you're anxious about it and you demand answers so it seems that this week is going to be a major one for you because like i said you're going to get the to the bottom of it we do have the uh, nine of swords and uh, the nine of swords in your case is a um, topic of the week it does point that you are going to um, aim to face your fears all right for example fear of being left alone for example fear of being um fired from job for example fear of being single for the rest of your life and this kind of stuff it is but it is you're going to address those fears and you will try to get to the core of those fears as well meaning that you will try to determine you know what you can do in order to overcome those fears now for the majority of you you are to realize that actually you are making the things worse by fearing. What I mean is that you are to realize that your fears are rather futile and in vain. And in reality, there is nothing that you have to be afraid of. But for some of you, uh, some actions are going to be required, which will uh, demand, how can I place it, a responsibility for you to take responsibilities for your actions. Now, <clears throat> Nine of Swords is one of the cards where you know, being petrified by the by a negative results is something that can truly hold you back. So you you have to kind of like stop think of what is what is gonna be the worst that could happen. All right, it's just 
realize that if you don't do no, if you do nothing about it it will it will not happen how can i play if you don't do anything about it it's not gonna get a turn for the better if i may express myself that way the accompanied card here that is going to be the um the hermit so the formation that we do have for you libras that is a active enemies and um well it's a bit difficult combo well for once it does says that um, actually what you are afraid of is rather very meaningless i mean what is substantial for yourself it's uh it, it resides elsewhere it's simple as that so for example if you are afraid from from you losing your job uh, well, when then these cards are pointing that your job is rather not very substantial or in the sense of that you can find a better job elsewhere, all right? Or same thing regards to your, uh, to your relationship as well. And that is a big reason why you should abandon those fears, knowing that even if this thing doesn't work out, you know, you can go for something better after the thing deteriorates, all right? But in the same time, these cards point that should you give yourself away to, the, to your fears, it is likely that you are going to make some wrong decisions, really some wrong decision. I mean, there will be a, a severe absence of wisdom and intelligence in behind your actions, which we are, is going to jeopardize uh, your reliability in front of your boss and co-workers, for example, and in front of your husband or a wife, that is, you know, and as well... Um, is going to jeopardize the trust that people do have within you as much as they have it. The next card that we do have for you, Libras, that is going to be the, uh, the Ace of Swords. And that is a challenge. And as we said, you will have to get to the bottom of it. So challenging is going to be that you, for you to um, have that keen perception so you can... Um, given an accurate diagnosis of what the true nature of the situation is in front of you. That could be for numerous reasons, all right? All right? It could be because you are daydreaming and you, you just do not, do not want to believe that the situation is as it is. And you will be um, stumbled or rather like you are going to be surprised of how many uh, people come to me, for example, for reading and they just don't want to accept that the situation is as the situation is, all right? So you will need to have that objective perspective upon the situation. Like I said, one of the reasons why you may not have it, <clears throat> it is because you are daydreaming and you are believing that things are going to fix on their own accord. The other reason why you may not have that objective um that, that objective diagnosis is because you may not want to accept that some of it is your fault is not all, if not all of it okay so in some situations it could be your fault that the situation is that way and you may have a, a difficult time accepting it or acknowledging it and if that persists then the challenge is going to deprive you completely from how can i place it from improving your circumstances if you want to say it that way because it's going to take a, some quite drastic actions or measures for you to improve your circumstances having the ace of swords on a challenging position the accompanied card here that will be the uh, nine of cups the the six of cups excuse me so the formation that we do have it is a active uh, neutrals and as of and as such formation uh, the six of uh, the six of cups it does point here that you will have to start from from the small things okay you don't have to solve the thing overnight but starting and uh, solving the puzzle from the puzzle from the minor pieces is gonna benefit you a lot like instead of trying to figure out uh, to figure out everything uh, at once. So start solving the riddle, you know, uh, calmly and patiently by uh, attending first to those things which me, which seems more appealing to you or seems more manageable to you. <clears throat> and that manifests itself as a challenge, So which speaks that you may find yourself as well a bit um, impatient, okay? You want the thing to be resolved straight away, right now, in this very moment. That's not going to be the case. First thing you have to go through the self-awareness here, uh, which could be, uh, which could take 
many forms, you know, it could be a self-awareness of that you are daydreaming, it could be self-awareness of that you do have a, your finger in what is going on right now uh, around you and uh, you will have to fix something with your performance and so on and uh, so forth. Uh, the next card that we do have, that is going to be the positivity or what helps you throughout the week. So Page of Pentacles, that is a, a person. Now, uh, to me, this card have a little bit of a detachment. It's a different story, all right? It's something uh, in, the, in the periphery or it's something peripheral to what you are dealing with here with the previous couple of cards. And it is something that recharges you with energies, all right? So that is a person who can be uh, a very faithful friend of yours. And if that's the case, you need to know that the page is never just a friend. That page has more than just friendship towards you. So throughout the week, as you are dealing with your difficulties, you know, you kind of like have that person who is always ready to help, you know, who is always there to give you a shoulder to lean on, uh, to lean on, who is always offering you a support. You need to know that that is not just a friend, guys. It is someone who does have an emotional connection towards you as well. The page itself is very uh, youthful into spirit and is very prone to long-term goals either. So uh, with that kind of a, um, with, with that kind of a narrative, <clears throat> the page manifests itself as a, a person who is willing to devote himself to your agenda for a, a long, long run, which could as well manifest itself as an apprentice, as a, someone who is willing to share burden, and so on and so forth. Uh, well, we definitely talk about um, a love and emotional attachment here with the Ace of Cups as a... Um, uh, as a, a catalyst, which form a passive uh, passive friends, very strong combo of that a, a person who is uh, appearing as a friend of yours right now around you, who is willing to help you with everything you have, you know, and in reality, they do have more than just friendship towards you. They they love you. It is what what these cards point. They 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 do. Okay, and. Uh, Unfortunately, with that combo, it is unlikely that they are going to reveal themselves to you unless not confronted uh, because they like, uh, how can I place it? They like, um, I would say, uh, consistency, okay? Because by them revealing themselves to you, that could uh, sever the consistency in the, in the communications and in the relationship in between you two. So they are not going to reveal themselves. Uh, as they uh, well they will reveal themselves as a friend you know but they are not going to share their deeper emotional connection towards you if you do want them to share that you have to confront them and uh, the final card that we do have for you Libras that is going to be the guidance that Tarot has for you we do have the lovers card so what the lovers point is as a uh, guidance here it does uh, represent the tendency uh, well, how can I express it? The um, tendency for you to maintain harmonious flow into relationships. That is first thing. So uh, this week you should not be warmongering with people, with your family, for example, uh, with your friends or with your co-workers and so on and so forth. Additionally to that, should you face a, a very difficult subject in your life throughout the week, give it a time and you will see that this subject will start resolving itself on its own accord with the lover's card. But above everything else here, the lovers, it does point that you will have a decision to make, a big decision to make, which, uh, which stands for what you have to do and what you want to do, all right? Neither of those decisions is either good or right, uh, or is good or bad, or either right, right or wrong, but you will have to take it according, or you will have to decide according to your personal uh, circumstances and as well your personal preferences. The accompanied card here, we have the Three of Cups, the combo that we do, um, that these cards form, it is a active neutrals. And unfortunately with the Three of Cups, you cannot find the right answer 
or the right vision what the decision should be from those which surrounds you, from your friends or from your family. That should be a, a very, very personal decision, a very personal decision toward a new direction, which makes me uh, go back to the first card, guys. I, I have to simply retract here with uh, these couple of two. So the Hermit, it does represent the one takes on a, a new direction <clears throat> in their life, very substantial one, okay? But because it does fall as a, an enemy to, this, to the Nine of Swords, you may be afraid to do it, okay? And uh, that could be the decision that you will have to take. Should you do what you want and stay in this place where you are right now, not provoking any disturbances, any disturbances, or should you do what you have to and provoke growth in your life and yet have to deal with things which are disturbing you? Having this, uh, this faithful support at your behalf, support that it is created purely out of love. So that being said, Libras, this was your weekly tarot reading uh, for May 13th to uh, May 19th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we are going to see each other uh, next time. Until then, bye.